We're going to make sure there's a staff door here so that people can't actually, they shouldn't be going into the kitchen. We're not going to have prisoners work here. Um, oh yeah, I can't. I can't define the rooms right now. Everything else you can draw, you get your ghostly mode. That's it. Um, this is going to be way more cookers than I need. Given my population, that's okay. Two fridges and a sink. I think one sink is sufficient, but I'll have room for two easily, so we'll do something like that. And that'll be okay. Okay. Let that get built up. So, for the sake of argument, let's go ahead and um, dig out these rooms. In fact, I can really build it like that. There's no reason that that layout shouldn't work. Um, solitary door. Like that. In fact, it'll save on small pipes. Okay. Power situation here. Lots of juice. Good. I mean, it does have to run a lot of lights, although I realized, actually, a lot of the lights aren't actually being reached. Um, and we will need some power running specifically through there as well. Let's do one of those. And run that down like this. Thank you for the autosave. I suspect we'll actually need a little bit more cableage that way. Could that be a real tunnel? Maybe. I mean, we've certainly seen a couple of people try to start a tunnel. They've never gotten anywhere, though. So that's good. It's awfully dark over here. Okay, this room, I don't understand. Repair the jail door? This was the place that was set on fire. It's got, it's got walls. It's got a door. Prisoner uniform is damaged. The toilet's not damaged. Yes, free fire mode is on. I'm fully aware of that. It has been on for a very, very, very long time. Because, you know, these people, they just stir up too much trouble. And that's not okay. Okay, the door's been repaired. Okay, it looks like there's, this, like, the floor under this bed is effed up. Let's dismantle this bed and see what's going on under there. And while we're at it, we'll, I don't know, we'll dismantle the toilet. And then we can rebuild them. We'll... Oh, yes, thank you. The showers up here need drains. Thank you very much. I did forget to do that. There we are. Um, I think I'm going to take the, um, the arm patrol and make him check the showers there too. And then we're going to get another arm patrol that goes over here. Now, again, I could optimize this to only be at meal times, but I'm lazy. Now that the walls are up though, I can go ahead and define these rooms. Uh, canteen. And kitchen is somewhere in here. Kitchen. Right, that needs water going to it specifically. Um, three, four. So we can do this, and this should not be a pipe that runs into any cells. Not that it matters too much. We are going to make sure not to build any cells on the outside there. That's important. Prisoner is starting to get fed. Uh... Is my deployment rule? No, that got changed. Yeah. Why four? I mean, it should only service this area anyway, because no one else can reach it. That's weird. I don't know. I don't know why it decides that some rooms get zoned as shared and some stay what they are. Okay. What is... What? Okay. Dump this prison uniform. What is going on with the floor here, and what can I do about it? Um... Refloor it? What kind of floor is going on here? I don't know. Concrete floor. We'll see if that does a thing. 
Velocity, thanks for the sub. Uh, oh, yes, Spec. I forgot to retab the new, the newly set up font ones over here. That's right. I was waiting for it, and then I got distracted by something. So let's go ahead and boom. 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 And over here, because when they're done eating, they will do a variety of other things. We'll put a couple of phones and a couple of TVs. So they can keep themselves occupied in this canteen. Do I have electricity running there? Ooh, no, we need one more piece of cable right there. Make sure the fridges are hooked up. Um, I'll hire a couple extra cooks. They should auto, like, I don't, I don't think I have to, like, put them in a kitchen. I don't think that's the way it works. They should spread themselves out automatically, presumably based on, what, the size of the kitchen or the number of cookers or some damn things or the amount of meals that have to be made in a kitchen. I don't know. But we'll go ahead and allocate a couple extras. And if we take a look at our logistics right now, at our food distribution, they're going there. Is it because it's not done yet? Maybe. We can we can manually force them to um, to eat somewhere else, which we may do in a moment here. Okay. How long has it been since our last death? 4.1 days without incident. What the hell? How did that happen? Well, it probably helps that we just separated out the uh, the crazy prisoners. Okay. Now this still doesn't count as being enclosed. What? I'm still waiting for this garbage to be picked up for that to get done. Let's let's finish all the construction over here, which will free up our workers, and we'll see if putting back that floor made a difference. Keep looking at the chat. Rezone it. I'm missing a cell tile. Oh, is the cell tile gone? Is that why it's not hashed? Okay, let's take a look. What's well, complaining? I guess it, if it's not touching a wall on every edge, it will complain about not being surrounded. So. Aha! There we go. Now it's just complaining about the bed and toilet, which I removed because I was like, I gotta see what the problem is here. Cool, thank you. Okay, rezoning it. That's the trick. So when something gets burnt up and gets lit on fire, it can dezone some of your stuff in your cell. Good to know. That toilet is filthy. We probably do need to hire a few more janitors. Well, especially now, this is the end of a day cycle, right? Where are we? Down here? So all the prison labor has done its stuff, and it wasn't enough. So we are going to go up to um, 12 janitors. Also, I think we'll get a few more um, dog handlers. And we're making good money. We're setting... Oh, we're, we're at a maximum number of guards. So if we go to our armory, and we get some more lockers... Uh, it's probably in the list, but I can't see it. Locker. What the hell? We'll go nuts over here. The number of lockers determines how many armed guards you can have. Those are set up, so we can go and set the phone tap here and here. And someone just sent in a tip, a donation. So, Luami, shower in cell equals simply place a shower head and a drain under it inside their cell. Then during the lockdown, they will shower if they need to. Yeah, okay, see... Do it min medium and it won't do anything where um we've done that before and it didn't seem to it didn't seem to take. Well we'll try it again. Maybe maybe we did it wrong. Maybe I I know I was trying to do like some weird shower zoning. I guess that's it. You can't you can't shower zone it. Because then the cell is no longer valid. But if I just put a drain underneath there, like well, you need the drain just for the water. But if I have the shower head, they will shower during lockdown. I guess I could do that to all my cells. But it's much more important for these guys. In fact, then they might not actually need a shower, an actual public shower. We'll see how it works out. Okay, that's all done. This sink has... It didn't actually get water, so let's make sure to adjust that. And then, let's check our logistics over here. Food distribution. See, these guys should eat there. I don't know why it didn't adjust. Automatically. That will. And some cooks are hanging out here, which is good. Demand should go up momentarily. It's all the right kind of zoning. Now, out of curiosity, can I intake Supermax? No. I think Supermax is a decision I have to make. Do a long-term investment. Also, did I ever do all the... Uh, all the tax stuff? I did. Good. Everything is unlocked except for death row and the small cells. Which I suppose I could unlock just on principle, but... 
Only one prisoner has been released. Yeah, my prisoners are too bad. They, like, never get paroled. Never get released. They just commit more crimes, so they stay in here forever and ever and ever. My prisoners are bad, y'all. You know what's not the right zoning? How's that not the right zoning? Supermax. Oh, was that set to max? It was set to max. Ah, thank you very much. So now, uh, how do I can right click that and it automatically goes there. Thank you very much. Wow, that color difference. Maybe it's more obvious to you guys. Those colors, yeah, it's a little brighter. Okay, and I guess when it was like this, it's easier to mouse over here and be like, I don't know, it looks the same to me. I have slight, sl not real color blindness, and it's mostly just like, where people tend to split blue and green is a bit different, but I found it very hard to differentiate between those two colors. Need more guards for that. We need, also, some small pipes to that shower head. Like so. Alright. So, they have a hygiene need. And when they wake up, they go straight into a lockdown before the shower. It'll be really interesting to see if they just shower at that time. It's called the old age, maybe. When I do a, uh, in a room shower, attach two small square rooms to each cell with a regular and locked door. Prisoners can get in when they want. Yeah, okay. That makes sense, too. We'll just see if this works. May as well give it a try. Do, 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 do. Like, I don't understand. Like, some of these guards are wandering around and not actually working the terminal. Okay, I guess someone else was getting there. Someone else had the job, and they were just waiting for them to show up. It's nice that we have the resting area right over here, so they hopefully don't take it long. Getting in the five new prisoners, because we have... We actually have room for six in our shared capacity. So let's do that. That's all done over there. Library here. We still like, because no one's graduating from anything, no one's actually working in the library ever. All right, when's their lockdown start? Any moment now. None of them have any particular literacy desire, so presumably that means they get to read their books. Which means we should really put these bookshelves in everyone's room. Although, I'm not really seeing any literary desire in anyone. Maybe because they haven't passed the classes? Eric, thank you very much for the resub. Okay, lock up. They're still sleeping. Uh, they, they, they technically have a little bit more sleep need. Maybe? Yes? Or maybe it's always got that one plus while they're doing something. Because it feels to me like they should be able to get up. During their lockup period. Well, it's about to hit shower time, so I guess they'll get up for that. Do they actually go to the actual public shower? So they... Oh! They have to explicitly be let in and out of these doors. They don't auto-open. They have to be open and they stay open. That's... Interesting. Oh, for fuck's sake. Really? And I have free fire on. Oh, we shot. It's because these guys, they don't... They don't... Did they actually die? Well, one person did. Oh! This cook died. What the hell? But these guys have been shot by shotguns, and it didn't kill them. Look, they're shotgun shells. Unconscious. Unconscious. We didn't actually kill them. Ha these prisoners, when they say they're tough, extremely tough, extremely strong, they can take a shotgun blast to the face and it doesn't kill them. So, um, I guess we're going to hire <laughs> some more cooks. <clears throat> um, I'm starting to wonder if maybe there should be another way in and out of this kitchen <laughs> so that the cooks don't have to go through the rest of the prison. I think that's pretty reasonable. Let's do one of those. I don't know if they'll use it. I don't know if they'll prefer it to something else. Um, someone's got to cart that garbage away. Please and thank you. I mean, we still have a staff door there, which can technically slow them down, right? They do have to smash open the, the staff door, although it's easier to get a key. They can get the key to the staff door basically from anyone. Is 
Because people are all on lockdown and waiting for punishment and yada, yada, yada. So they're going to miss their first meal. Although it's okay. They eat frequently enough that they're not going to be starving. Oh, and they've got a food train in their home. Lockdown, permanent. Oh, these are both on permanent lockdown. I can go. That's right. I forgot. I had a lot of those on, and I can really get rid of that now. So they can they can get their normal behavior now. So maybe we don't want solitary doors on anything. Maybe we do want the normal one so that we don't actually have to manually unlock it every single time. I'm not sure. Can't believe we didn't sh kill those. You need to research small cells so you can split your existing supermax cells into cell and shower. Um, so with small cells, like. Do you not need to be bordered? I think this is going to be okay. It's fine. I'm not going to stress too much about it one way or another. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it's fine. Oh, he's making a mess of water. What? Okay, so the shower does work when they're in lockup. But the water goes everywhere. Crap. It dries up pretty fast. I mean, I could put um, I could put a drain under their door, so it doesn't go everywhere. Maybe he's just really messy. Swedish twig. I thought you already sent. I'm confused. Nope, there we go. First time watch you on stream. Watch you on YouTube for almost a month and never look back. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much, Swedish twig. Oh, I think you sub. That's why I saw your name earlier. So yes, yeah, super. Thank you for all the support. Hmm. Drains don't work right under the shower head. Water spills in eight tiles, but not under. So, and it flows diagonally. So we have to, like, drain everything everywhere. It does go away really fast. Yeah, I don't know. Oops. I mean, at the very least, we could do something like this to limit it. Hmm. Didn't read my donation. Oh, NT, I missed yours. I'm terribly sorry. Thank you for all the lovely content, first of all. Been watching since Sim City 4 launched. Probably Sim City 5, probably. Uh, some of your Supermax guys eat with the rest of the population, and some are still in permanent lockdown. Um, yeah, they shouldn't be eating with the rest of the population. They might have at first because we didn't have um, the food distribution set up properly. Oh, that's one thing I can do over here too is make this and actually the entire kitchen staff only. There we are. Seems like a pretty good idea. Did you just seriously set your bed on fire? Fuck this guy! Fuck this guy, TJ! We can't even kill him when he, like, starts shit. Like, he's pled guilty to three murders. We can't even kill him when he starts shit. Because... Shooting him makes no difference. He had a lighter. Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh my god, the walls are burning down! Quick! <laughs> what am I gonna do with this guy? Permanent solitary. It's not going to matter. He's, he smashed his way out before. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> wow. Well, let's go and, first of all, let's do a search of the cell block. We'll, we'll have to do more frequent ones of those. Um, <laughs> he's still walking. He's, like, on fire, basically. I, is everyone freaking out over here? I think everyone's freaking out. Like, what, what are we doing? He's just, just standing around like, ah, everything is bad. This guy's standing in fire. Is he unconscious or anything? He's injured. Nah, he's just chilling. Just sitting in fire. <laughs> that he started. There's sprinklers? Whoa, wait, wait, whoa, whoa. There are sprinklers? Oh my god. Yeah, okay. We're gonna put sprinklers in every single one of these cells. <laughs> no. 
I, is anyone ever going to put out these fires? Like, I'm, I'm kind of used to RimWorld where they go and they stamp it out. I have no idea what's going on here. People are freaking out because they can't reach things. See the emergencies tab? Um, oh yeah, let's, let's call the fire department. That's a good call, actually. Before the whole prison burns down. Come on, fire department. Are you going to do anything? Or are you just sitting around? How does the fire department work? Can I control you? Oh, I can! Get your ass over here! Come here. Oh, okay, hold on. Bah? Bah? I've never had to do this before. Okay, they're, they're coming. Well, most of them. I think I clicked differently for one of them. There we go. Get over here! Wow, those are some long hoses. I guess I've been lucky in that things have, like, burned themselves out in the past. Wow, it is hard work putting out fires. I've never had this happen before. This is amazing. I love it. Can I, like, move you closer? Will that be safe? Is all the fire out? Okay, it looks like the fire's out, so I guess I can cancel this. Um, and then rebuild a bunch of walls. Well, that was exciting! Um, and yeah, we'll have to rezone that cell once the walls are up. Look, everything's just sitting here smoldering. Oh, it's fantastic. Still haven't had a full-fledged riot in, like, any of the recent games. Like, I don't remember last time we played. Was it, like, Alpha 15 or something? You got your wish, the dude is gone. Is he actually dead? Did TJ die? Supermax, four people. Yeah, I think so. So it looks like the sprinklers need, um, need the small pipe connections. And unfortunately, I was kind of inconsistent about where I put them. So I don't know... Whatever, we'll just play it safe and do one of those. A bit overkill. And like that. <clears throat> the smoldering wreck of this. Okay, so we will get the sprinklers in our supermax cells. That seems pretty smart. Also, I didn't check any of my intakes. Are any of them crazy? I mean, we do have, like, vaguely crazy. But they're not, um... No legendary people. Volatile, stoical, fearless, skilled fighter. I might go and put you in Supermax. Maybe we'll save it for the extremely volatile. Because there might be just too many volatiles. We'll just have to accept that. Okay. Um, sell. Voila. Still have to wait for everything to get reinstalled here. It should technically be enclosed now. Yeah, there we go. It's got everything it needs. Everything a body needs, including charcoal. It's got that lovely barbecue smell. <laughs> that TJ brand barbecue smell. Mmm. I'm going to get uh, five more guards. There you go. And a couple more armed guards to make it easier to work the various patrols that I've got set up. This guy's injured. We might need more doctors and stuff soon. I don't know. Um, oh, we might need an infirmary over here that they can reach. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty good idea, because it seems pretty likely that they're going to hurt each other. Um, is it hospital bed? Medical bed? Infer medical bed. Just like that. Just a one rumor. Actually, cancel that one. We'll put it over here, because, again, I'm going to try to build as many non-cells along the outside wall here. Um... So again, medical bed. Like that. A little bit more room that way. Staff door. 
and I'm curious. Oh yeah, we'll wait for the walls to come up. Um, I'm curious if I just zoned it as a hospital, will one of my doctors go there? I think so, because you don't assign doctors anywhere. So I think a medic will, will end up going there, at least if there's any need. We'll see how it goes. I have no idea what their rules are for how uh, employees disperse themselves. Being close to security, it should be relatively easy for someone to come over and open this relatively often. Undead Soldier, thanks for the sub. Oh, and yes, I will. I'm actually going to check the deployments when I finish this room anyway. But thank you very much for pointing that out. Because the wall got destroyed, it probably effed up all the zoning. Um, we're looking for, what are we looking for? Infirmary. Like that. Deployment. Nope, nope, looks like the uh, deployment is actually still fine. It survived, the uh, the walls being destroyed. Somehow, magically. Cool. Medical bed's gonna get delivered. And yeah, so I've got... If I take one, can I like, tell one to go over here? I just did. There we go. Nope. People are being escorted around. Getting their food. She might have gone there on her own. I actually don't know if you can move doctors. Oh, apparently you can. There we go. But when I released her, she went back over there. So I think I think they would have uh, organized themselves anyway. Maybe after doing a shift, maybe if once they got tired and needed a break, someone might have ended up over there. But there we go. That's okay. Um, there's the injured guy. I don't know if he's being treated. Can I tell him to like be treated? Doctor, go and treat him. Can you do that? There we go. If I had the infirmary already, I'm, I'm wondering if they would have been automatically treated. I'm not sure. <clears throat> All right. Well, I'm still good on these cells. I don't really need any more. Um, I'm going to go ahead and place another one down. I will... Uh, I'm not going to... I guess I'll use the clone tool. But, a few caveats do it that way. I'm going to cancel that sprinkler and just put it here just so we need a little bit less piping to reach it. Alright, like that. And I'm going to change these doors to use regular jail doors because it's going to be too much work otherwise. Voila. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not going to remove the solitary doors that are there. We could go, however, and do a quick little clone of these little solitaire rooms, because we might need a little bit more. So I haven't been really monitoring the Supermax prisoners. I'm hoping they're not mingling with the rest of the prison population. There's technically nothing stopping them from leaving, because they're technically allowed. They can walk through this, and then this is all shared, so they're technically allowed to do that. What the... Why did I set that to protected only? Why didn't... What? Is it because that door is open? But it's like... That's fine. I don't know. We'll make it... We'll set it back to normal now. Huh. Yeah, okay. That's weird. I guess it could... Just letting you know, hey, by the way, this is open to the outside. Which was fine! Like, I could just get rid of that door door doesn't even need to exist. It's just there as kind of a backup, because there's no way to get through here. This is just backup stuff. And now that the bulk of the work is done here, it's not going to be the end of the world. Yeah, the gardeners will have to do some work over here, but that's okay. We don't have much in the way of cameras over here, but we have so many guards that I don't think it's going to be a problem. Got a toilet. There we go. It's a valid cell. Good. Okay. All right. Uh, this is going well. We can always have the option of expanding these kitchens if we need to, but I don't think I will. I think I'm going to leave them sort of as is. And if we build another block down here, and I think that'll be the next step, is another cell block down here. What we're going to do is... Um... Yes, you're right. I should take a break. The counter beeped over 20 minutes ago. I got to save my stamina. Um... What I think I'm going to do is expand, get another one of these blocks, move it down here, get another kitchen and cantina down here as well, and just expand that. But that'll have to be after the break. Uh, we're going to take uh, two or three minutes here.
And when we come back, a little bit more prison art deck. Catch you on the other side. Oh, 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 oh. Hellural. Can't wait for Gauss of Three. Didn't want to try it before it got released. Yes, we are about uh, just over an hour away from playing Galactic Civilization Three. So we'll pick up on that after we do a little more Prison Architect. See ya. I don't know why I've always have like the one side over here that just like flips out. Stupid hair. Time for a haircut. All right. See you in a few minutes.